It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports to wear county Gators are the heavy favorites to win region 15A this year. They advanced into this year's state playoffs. They have five Division I football players on this year's squad, including their senior quarterback, Thomas Castellanos, head coach Jason Strickland's in his third year as the head coach of the Gators, and WIFOFM caught up with him Saturday at 912 Media Day. Had these comments about the Gators and the rivalry with Wayne County. Here goes Strickland, Ware County State football coach, and everybody's got y'all projected as the definite region favorite, possibly state champions. Are you all as loaded as they say? We've got, we, let me say this, I've got a famous line that says we got some players that can overcome bad coaching, and that's that's what we're hoping for this year. Uh, but, you know, as long as Warner Robbins, Coffee, and, and, and those folks, y'all, Wayne, veterans, I mean, we got a situation, but, you know, you, you guys almost upset region four champion last year in the first round of playoffs. Veterans mercy ruled that crowd uh, earlier in, in last season, so, I, you know, <laughs> If, if there's a region favorite out there, I don't know who it is, but uh, I'd, I'd probably put my hat on, on, on the defending state champions. Well, I'll tell you what, it all starts with your quarterback, Thomas Costellano. Tell us how talented. I mean, I'm just amazed when I see him. I mean, he just gets better and better. He's already decided to go to the University of Central Florida with Gus Miles on, but uh, how good is this kid? Well, I, I, I tell anybody, and I don't. I, we, we're not going to hide him, you know, how good he is. You turn the film on, you see him. He's a freak. And, and uh, But what's what's been a blessing is how, how – great he is to coach and how much he wants to learn and, and he wants to be a student of the game and he wants to maximize his potential. You know, through 23 years of doing this, you know, we've been around a lot of talented guys, but they, they were not necessarily just obsessed with trying to maximize his potential. Thomas is, and uh, he, he wants to find a way to get better every day, and, and that's what's been really, really special about him. And going into this year, now he understands you know, kind of this is my last chance at, at doing something that, that's never taken place at Work County High School. And, and uh, he's, he's, he's very adamant about holding his players and his, his teammates accountable and being the type of leader that, that we need him to be. And just watching his maturity level over the last several years has been incredible. Uh, but uh, as far as a talent, man, he is his potential is uh, uncharted. And, and I think he's going to the perfect spot at the next level and the coach miles on. And, and uh, you know, they, they want him to play quarterback, and he's, going to, he, he's got a lot of great football left up. About the rest of the Gators, you got some other Division One prospects on that team. Uh, again, it just seems like it's a very talented Ware County football team this year. Well, yeah, Cartavius Norton, our running back, got hurt at the beginning of the season last year. They would come back the last couple of games, but uh, he just got offered by a Power Five school in Iowa State. So he, I mean, once again, just another unbelievable high character young man that uh, is so deserving of everything that that he gets coming before him and you know James Daniels one of our receivers that we feel like is going to have an opportunity at the next level Malik Mitchell a defensive lineman and um, you know it, Michael Mincy's younger brother Trey Hargrove is now kind of our, our middle linebacker he's still a junior thank goodness uh, but I, you know we feel like at some point he's going to have some, some opportunities and you know what, what I'm proud of is they're you know they're, they're so concerned right now about the name on the front of their jersey and they're not getting caught up in the recruiting and, and all those types things they they know that if they take care of the things on their grant on the grass here at Memorial Stadium that, that they're gonna have some opportunities. Well the Wayne Ware game is always a packed house and yes. I'm sure it'll be again this year and it always seems like the region comes down to those two teams again yeah. it's the final game of the year this year so I'm sure everybody's looking forward to that. Well it's been a lot of fun and you know the, the, the thing that I've, I've said since we've been here with that that rivalry is I, I think there's a lot of class between the two and our players know Wayne County players all the time and they're they're friends and you know, they, they chat together. Yeah, we, we, we see them on social media together. You know, so it's a it's a really you know, friendly rivalry. Obviously, we both want to win. Me and Coach Cribb are, are, are have a very, very good relationship. But, you know, the thing that we talk to our guys about, and it's really every team in our region, especially when we go against Wayne, is, look, you're not going to outsmart Coach Cribb. I mean, we, we've got to go out on the grass and find a way to out-execute them. And, and obviously be be ready for anything because Coach Cribb's going to, you know, he, he may pull somebody out of the stands to, you know, run a trick play or whatever. Uh, but it makes it a lot of fun and makes a lot of stress during the week, but it makes it a lot of fun and, and, and certainly appreciate how passionate both of these communities are about their football programs but also about that game. Coach, always good to see you. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. And again, those comments of Coach Strickland and Ware County will play them over there November 5th. Also had a chance to talk to their talented quarterback, Thomas Castellanos. Again, he's signed or has committed with UCF. New head coach Gus Malzahn. Castellanos says he's glad he has that decision behind him. 
there Ware County's quarterback, Thomas Castellano, is a very talented quarterback. And I understand you're going to just miles on territory when you're done. Uh, tell us how that decision came back, because I know a lot of schools wanted you. Um, well, before they came in the picture, he was still at Auburn. Uh, I was going to commit to Florida State, and then when he got a job at UCF, some guys hit me like real fast, and i just been building a relationship with those guys, and then like, I played 7-on-7 seven seven with Team Cam Newton, and you know, he coached Cam Newton, so uh, it, it's all just played a factor in like, you know, relationships and stuff like that. Well, I know you want to play quarterback, and that's where he's promised you, so I know you're looking forward to that, but watching you play quarterback over the past couple years, uh, you know, Wayne County fans are scared to death <laughs> when we face you. Uh, it'll be a tough game, but how are you looking forward to the season? Uh, I'm looking good to it. Uh, I feel like we got all, we like, we scrum, got all our seniors back uh, this year. I feel like we can do something special. We just do all the little things and the right things. How do you avoid all the media hype? How do you go about your business day to day, week to week? Uh, I just let those people do what they do and let them people talk uh, at the end of the day check the stats or put a ball down and we can see who better. That's how I look at it. Well, on your offense, who do you rely on? I know uh, you have a strong running game, uh, passing game as well, so you're pretty well balanced. Uh, I rely on number two. Uh, I have a receiver number 13, number two. They're both seniors this year, and I also have a very talented running back, number five, Cortavius Norton. So those are the guys I rely on. Man, Coach told me just he committed to Iowa State. Yes, sir. So that's, that's congratulations. Big. Yes, yeah, that's good stuff. So most of you guys have already committed. How, how important is that to get that commitment out of the way so you don't have to worry about it during the season? Uh, talk about that all the time. It seems like it's a big relief to have that in the rearview mirror. Uh, it's very important because it gets all the scraps off your shoulders. You don't have to worry about you know getting seen or getting your name out there anymore. You just focus on high school and enjoying high school and high school football with your brothers. Okay, Thomas, we'll look forward to seeing you at the end of the year, and uh, best of luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Once again, those comments of Thomas Castellanos, a talented quarterback in Ware County, and we'll see him over in Wake Cross on November 5th. On Wednesday, Sportscast will continue with our interviews with the other coaches that will be playing this year. We'll hear from Appling head coach Jordan Mullis tomorrow, former Wayne County coach. Thursday, we'll talk with Richmond Hill. And on Friday, we'll hear from Glenn Academy coach Rocky Adalgo as Wayne County's headed down there Friday for that controlled scrimmage. Again, that's still set for this coming Friday night, 7 o'clock at Glenn Memorial Stadium. Again, WIFL fan will be on hand and we'll broadcast that controlled scrimmage. Girls softball season set to get underway this Thursday, and again, they're working on the softball field, and the work is being done, but again, not going to be able to be completed by the game for this Thursday. So this Thursday's game has been moved to Ben Park, and they'll play on field four. Again, the game time is still 5.30, but again, just keep that in mind. They're going to take on Bacon County in the first game of the year. Again, 5.30 this coming Thursday at the Ben Park Complex on field number four. Again, WFL Fifth will be on hand broadcast that game for you. In Major League Baseball, we're in the dog days of August, and the Braves had the day off and picked up a half game on the Mets, who lost last night. Braves entered this three-game set beginning tonight in St. Louis, just three and a half games out of first place. Phillies are in second place. They're two and a half games behind New York. Nats are still alive. They're still six and a half games back. Game time tonight, 7-20. First pitch, Braves and the Cardinals. NFL football set for this Thursday night is the Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio. Features the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys. NFL football Thursday night. Kickoff set for 8 p.m. NFL camps are underway. Indianapolis Colts suffered a tough loss as quarterback Carson Wentz has to have foot surgery. Had it yesterday. He's going to miss anywhere from five to seven weeks. Could miss the first several games of the season. Backup quarterback Jacob Eason, the former Georgia and former Washington quarterback, penciled in right now as a starter. But the Colts could make a move looking to either Nick Foles, who's the third-string quarterback in Chicago, or they may be looking at Gardner Minshew, the backup quarterback now in Jacksonville. Right now they say they're happy with Jacob Eason, but again, that all could change in the coming days. That's going to do it for Ladies Dan Local Sports. Sport